early warning. Today's ice cream taste test is gonna get corny. Hello, food freaks, and welcome to That's Rank. My name's Chris, and frankly, today is the very reason this channel was created in the first place. I've got a sweet corn ice cream sandwich that's shaped like an actual ear of corn, apparently, and it was clearly invented to answer the age-old question of just because I can, does it mean that I should? Now, of course, generally speaking, the answer is that you should, because our world is a giant melting pot of creativity, so if you want to crossbreed a hot pepper that tastes like a Burger King Whopper but looks like an old Goodyear tire that's lost its treads, by all means, have at it. Do not let polite society dictate your dreams. And now, speaking of your dreams, this ice cream packaging is something of a nightmare. You know, there's no signs of mint, no signs of chocolate, or even vanilla or berries. Nothing but pure, unadulterated, sweet corn in the husk. I realize that I'm being awful judgy for someone who lives in a country that has ice cream trucks on the road that sell baseball gloves on a stick, However, the big difference there is that it's not advertised as tasting like a baseball glove. It's advertised as cherry with a little bubblegum ball in the center of the glove. Now, of course, it actually does taste like a baseball glove, but they didn't intend it that way. And intent is three quarters of the food law. I think, anyway, I'm not a legal expert. On those same ice cream trucks, we also have a SpongeBob from hell. <laughs> Anyway, I know you're as anxious as I am to see what's hidden beneath this wrapper. Uh, oh, holy shit, it's actually corn on a cob. This is hilarious. Like, who is this for? On a hot summer's day, you've just chased down the Korean ice cream man. One ice cream, please, you tell him and then he hands you this, because you're husky. If you're husky, would eating this make you a cannibal? Granted, you're probably not eating the husk. However, if you were a kernel, on the other hand, it looks like the shell has a slit in the middle. So let's see if we can open this up. Yup. <laughs> Am I supposed to be eating this outside shell? I mean, this looks like ice cream in the middle, I think, but it was called an ice cream sandwich, so presumably I'm supposed to eat this outer shell as well? Oh God, it smells buttery. I'm all for rich ice cream. You know, Wisconsin does this ultra smooth frozen custard that's like, I don't know, 180% milk fats. But even they'd be like, butter, yo, that's a step too far. I mean, probably. It's Wisconsin. I don't actually know if they have limits. Okay, we're gonna go in. Cheers, or in this case, ears. Well, it's, uh, authentic. Is this the weirdest ice cream in the world? Absolutely not. Like, I'm thrilled that this isn't the cicada flavored ice cream, which is a very real thing in Columbia, Missouri. So thank God for small mercies. If there was a cicada in here, I'd have straight bugged out. However, that doesn't mean that I like this or that it was necessary. Let me explain. I love corn. I grill it all summer long. I'm going to probably put away like 30 to 40 ears of corn between June and September. Corn is good. It's a side dish, a near perfect barbecue accoutrement. Near perfect, of course, because it's not beans. Beans are where it's really at. With that said, one thing that I would never do is freeze my ears of corn, coat it with chocolate wafers and butter and make it into a dessert. Corn pudding is as far as I'm willing to stretch my imagination on corn desserts, and even then, I'm only eating it if there's literally nothing else available. Like, I'm willing to eat a four-day-old Timbit before I eat corn pudding. Although not an old-fashioned Timbit, I'm not even gonna eat those when they're fresh. I have standards. Really what this tastes like is buttery popcorn with chocolate. Buttery popcorn that's cold. Do you eat frozen popcorn? If you do, please comment below so that I can make fun of you. I mean, is this novel? Absolutely, take a look at it. It's corn on a cob ice cream. Legit, if this was just vanilla ice cream with, I don't know, peanuts for corn kernels, then you know what, back the truck up, I'm all in. There is an ice cream truck near me that makes ice cream cones that look like Elmo or the Cookie Monster. But you know what it doesn't taste like? Elmo or the Cookie Monster. I mean, probably, I've never actually eaten a Muppet. This though, I don't like this. But at the same time, I kind of like this. I actually want to eat more of it, and I have no earthly idea why, because my brain is telling me, dude, this sucks, but my tongue is like, butter, yo, you gotta go get that butter. 
Popcorn is probably my favorite snack. I think some of my internal wiring is getting crossed and my body just doesn't know what to do with this. So here we go. This is stupid. And I know I'm probably gonna eat the whole thing. I understand that none of this makes any sense. It's a sweet corn ice cream sandwich. But then I'm not sure this episode was ever intended to make sense in the first place. Damn it, I'm starting to like it. Latte sweet corn ice cream sandwiches. If you're looking for a buttery frozen corn treat that looks like an ear of corn, then congratulations on your pregnancy. That's exciting. In the meantime, uh, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing.